We all love to travel, right? We love to discover new countries, foreign cultures, and come back with amazing travel stories. Who's been on an African safari? Seen rhinos, elephants, giraffes? Please raise your hand. Hi, Sam. Isn't there something very spiritual, very adventurous about traveling in the African wilderness? Now imagine you could be more than just an observer on your safari. Imagine you could be more of an explorer and look behind the scene of all the safari lodges and game reserves. Imagine you could engage with people's real life and connect deeply with nature. And just by enjoying these experiences, you would give back to this beautiful world and make a difference to this world. Wouldn't this make a difference to your journey? Well, it clearly did to mine. During my travels, I found my passion. I found my purpose in life. And I finally feel that I've arrived in this world. I believe the seed was planted very early. I grew up not far from here, in a small village in the middle of nature with many animals. And I loved to spend my holidays with my uncle, who was a veterinarian. And it was very adventurous for me to join him when he got called out to tend to the animals at the farms and when people came to see him at his clinic. Back at home, I, of course, had fantastic and very unique stories to talk about how we, too, saved the animals in this world. In between these holidays, I watched my favorite TV series, Doctory. Who doesn't know Dr. Marsh Tracy with the lion Clarence, who saves the animals in Africa? And soon it became very clear, one day I am going to be a wildlife veterinarian in Africa. Well, time passed and somehow I lost my dream on my way. I studied culture and media management and started a marketing career in the telecommunication and software industry. So it couldn't be any further away from my dream. I worked many hours and, um, well, I got deeply trapped into the hamster wheel, like so many of us, right? The first crisis arrived and I asked myself, what on earth am I doing here? Is that really what I want for my life? Is that the purpose I've been looking for? During these challenging times, I found nature for myself. I discovered how much nature gives me my energy I need for my daily life, how much it clears and awakens my senses so that I can feel myself again and find clarity and make better decisions for my life. Well, when I got an offer from a German travel magazine to work and live in South Africa, I couldn't resist. I, of course, said yes. And that was 15 years ago, and I've never regretted it, this decision a moment. I was very happy and fortunate. I felt fortunate to be able to travel in my favorite way. I could connect with the people, and they gave me a look behind the scene of the glamorous safari lodges and game reserves. And I slowly started to understand that this is much more than just a business. There is a much bigger vision behind it, the vision of wildlife conservation. But I also could see that they face huge challenges. Every day, two rhinos get killed for their horns. Every 10 to 15 minutes, an elephant gets killed for its ivory. Lions get killed for their bones and for their trophy. And for what? Just for money. Now, on the other hand, you have these amazing, very passionate people who are trying to save our endangered species, 
With the national parks and game reserves, they're trying to follow a vision to convert the land back into its original state with the original vegetation and animals roaming freely in it. What a beautiful vision. However, to turn this into reality, we need more people. We need the locals to engage in that vision. And we need the travelers, we need you, to support that mission. So I thought, how can we integrate this all and create an exciting travel program out of it? I knew what the look behind the scene traveling did to me. So I wanted to create a travel experience where people can understand that mission and meet the people behind it and get inspired by their passion, participate in it, give back and come home more fulfilled. So this vision really started to grab me and inspire me. And I started traveling with it. Five years ago, I met the owners of a private game reserve not far from Cape Town, and they loved the idea. So we started to build the first conservation safari of its kind. Here, people are much more than just a foray guest. They slip into the role of a ranger, become part of the team, and can participate in important wildlife conservation projects. Here they use the GPS to track lions and cheetahs. They might have just been released and it's crucial to monitor them. Well, mostly during the winter months, because it's cooler, animals get released into the reserve. So hands on, they might be able to join if animals get released. I think it's a fantastic once-in-a-lifetime experience. These guests, these explorers, go on game drives every day and they can take many pictures, but they also learn how to monitor the animals and take down important data. This data gets used by the management of the reserve for, the, for conserving these animals. So I think it's a fantastic win-win situation, right? However, when I got the feedback of these first travelers, how deeply they were able to connect with this wilderness because they were actively involved, and how proud they were to be part of the team and face new challenges, and how fulfilled they felt to give back to this vision I knew I was on the right track. And this was an important motivation because, of course, as you can imagine, it is not always easy to set up your own business, especially in a different country. Well, but I also believe that if you follow your heart and your passion in life, that support will be provided for you. So just at the right time, the media discovered me. And I was, of course, very happy, and it gave me a huge push when the ZDF, our second channel, reported about the safari with a purpose. And recently, I got awarded as Eco Safari Operator of the Year by a luxury um, travel magazine from the UK, because they think that this raw authenticity is the new luxury people are searching for. I would say it is a new luxury we need in this world. However, all this acknowledgement encouraged me to develop more um, conservation safaris, more traveling programs with a purpose. Conservation, but not only conservation, only also um, experiences where you can experience life with the community in a Sulu village, for example, which goes directly back into the community, or where you get taken by a local, also from the community, back to the community, into the wilderness, 
just to take a well-deserved break of the hamster wheel of our high-speed technology world. However, the latest creation um, already got deep into my heart. Um, guess why? Well, I've finally been able to follow my childhood dream with a little twist. Imagine you can join a wildlife veterinarian in Africa for a couple of days. Nick, our uh, partner and professional wildlife veterinarian, is based at a wildlife sanctuary close to the Etosha National Park in Namibia. And people can join him when he gets called out to tend to the elephants and the giraffes and here to two cheetahs. And they not, learn, they not only learn about wildlife, they also learn about how a vet, the role of a vet, takes in conservation. And they participate in it and they give back actively to these conservation projects. And of course, they come back with amazing and very unique stories of how they saved the animals in Africa. Well, it's not difficult to guess. Uh, my heart is with the people, is with the animals in Africa. But it doesn't matter where your heart is, where you would like to travel, if it's Australia or America, Canada, Costa Rica or Vietnam. I would like to encourage you today to travel more consciously, to travel responsible, to travel with a purpose. Because I think that traveling with a purpose doesn't mean you have to compromise. It's quite the opposite. Traveling and engaging with people's life, participating in a bigger vision and getting inspired by their passion will enrich your travel experience and will bring you back home more fulfilled. Connecting deeply with this wilderness or with an unspoiled nature will clear your senses will awaken your senses again, and you will be able to start to feel yourself again and make better decisions for your life and start to write your own very unique story. And maybe you will even remember dreams, dreams you had as a child, dreams that still want to be lived to make a difference to this world. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.